Welcome. This video contains a short discussion about echelon form of a matrix. The objective of this video is to help you understand the concept of echelon matrix and to know if the given is in the form of RREF, reduced raw echelon form, or REF, raw echelon form. There are two forms of echelon matrix, the raw echelon form and reduced raw echelon form. And to identify if the given matrix is in the form of RREF or REF, the matrix needs to satisfy the following properties. First, if a row does not consist entirely of zeros, then the first non-zero number in the row must be 1. Two, by reading from left to right, the first non-zero entry in a row that not consists entirely of zero is the A1, called the leading one of the row. Three, in any two successive rows that do not consist entirely of zeros, the leading one in the lower row occurs farther to the right side of the leading one of the higher row. Four, if a column contains the leading one of some row, then all other entries in that column are zero. matrix is considered as REF if it only satisfies the first three properties and if the given has all four properties. The matrix is RREF or reduced row echelon form. Remember, a matrix is not RREF or REF if it only satisfies the first two properties. Now that you already know all the properties and how to identify the form of a matrix, I will give you more examples to enhance your learning about echelon form of a matrix. In this example, we will use the properties to check if the given is in the form of RREF, REF, or neither. Example number one. Therefore, example 1 is RREF. Example number 2. Having just the first three properties defines the example as REF. Example number three.
because of failing to satisfy the third property, the given is neither REF nor RREF. Example number four. As you can see, the given is three linear equation. In this case, we will first convert the linear equation into a matrix for us to easily identify its form. By getting all the coefficient of the given equation, we will have a 3 by 4 matrix. Now, using the four properties, we will identify if the linear equation are REF or RREF. By violating the fourth property, the linear equation is a row echelon form. And that is the end of our discussion. I hope this video helped you a lot. Just always remember that when checking the properties, do it in order from property 1 to property 4. And if the given is linear equation, convert the given to a matrix for the easier way to identify its form. Congratulations! Now you already know how to identify the form of a matrix.